what is going on fellow explorers back here again at Cypress Lawn Cemetery here in Colma we're gonna look around this will probably be the last one here I do of the week the last video I might move on next week to a different cemetery but there's still a lot of stuff I haven't covered here and I'm gonna have to come back at some other time and cover let's get on with it all right Samuel Mountford Wilson he was an American lawyer he was a member of the California Constitutional Committee, 1878 to 1879, also a chairman on the Judiciary Board. He refused to sign finished Constitution. Member Board Freeholders, which drafted new municipal charter for San Francisco, 1879. And one more interesting thing I noticed about this, you can't see inside, of course, but other than that, let's go up to the door here and look at the door. I can't see him. It's a beautiful old door. Mm, look at the view from up here. One thing I noticed that on a find a grave, it's hard to tell, there is a photo missing. So let's uh, give old find a grave a hand here. I feel like every time I take a photo, it's kind of crooked. When I take a photo for find a grave, I don't know. I know the ground is uneven and whatnot, but it seems like. Uh, it always happens, but like I said, I know ground's uneven. Some of these, I think some of these are built kind of crooked, too, on uneven ground. Well, let's hit the uh, upload button and see what happens. That's not my photo. Oh, photo uploaded. Well, let's, uh... BAM! There's my photo! So happy to help, guys. This place has got a lot of unique and cool graves. Look at this one. It's like an angel crying. Let's look over the years. The fingers have come off. This has been here for a while. Uh, walk around over here and look at different stuff. Let's try to walk in between things over here. Look at this. Nelson. That's a beautiful stone. I always see these in cemeteries, and I find these very interesting. That's awesome. And Jane Warner, so I guess husband and wife, I do believe. Both of them died. Well, she died in 1902. He died in 1878, I do believe. Wow. They've been here for a minute. Oh, there you go. Look at this one. Oh, must not be a lock on the door because they have it chained. Here, there, the lock broke. I'm not seeing whether there was even a lock. Wow. Looks very well kept inside.
some of the unique artwork on these stones. Golden Gate Bridge with the name and the picture of the gentleman. This person is obviously a 49ers fan. We have the 49ers symbol, logo. Look at that. That is awesome. Pictures of the family on it, too. Now this one seems pretty sweet, and for good reason. It is the final resting place of Klaus Spreckels, of the Spreckels Sugar Company. He entered the sugar business in the mid-1860s. Klaus Spreckels. I'm sure you guys have heard of the sugar. This one, God, this is awesome on the inside. There's room for a ton of family in there, if you can see all the spots. And this thing kind of branches off to the right too a little bit. Wow. I'm trying to kind of get a good shot for you guys, but see the, little, the planter in the middle of the room, it's very nice, but I don't even know how many people you could fit into this one on the sides, ahead of us on the sides. It's insane. And I guess the town that grew around the plant, the Spreckles sugar plant, still exists today and is called Spreckles, California. Let's take a little walk around to this thing. It's huge and it is awesome. Uh, there's windows and stuff on the side over here. Maybe you guys can get a different perspective or a better one of how many people can be put in here. There's, there's like, it's insane. I guess sugar is a pretty lucrative business, eh? Yep, this place screams notice me, that's for sure. That is for darn certain. This is the back side of it now. Thing is, I'm not seeing any names on, on anything else around here. And if, I, if there are names, I'm probably missing them. Looks like, except for Klaus, I guess. Well, there's one more in here I could see off to the right, John. But um, yeah, that's the dealio. And of course, there's the air vents. So when the body mummifies, it helps the mummification process. 